And I'm Daniel Wynn. New at 10, Quincy University students who are from Florida are wanting to help those impacted by Hurricane Ian. They'll be hosting a community blood drive to help with relief efforts. And WGEM's Charity Bell is live in Quincy with how these efforts are hitting close to home for some students. Charity. Daniel and Mackenzie, I sat down with a student who says her family lives along the west coast of Florida, which is in the direct line of Hurricane Ian's destructive path. And she says, although her family is okay, blood drives like this could help save a life of someone in need. As the hurricane was approaching and even as it hit, I can't even describe the anxiety that I was feeling because I just had to stand back and watch and I couldn't do anything. Quincy University senior Lauren Woodward says she was here in Quincy while her family felt the pressure of Hurricane Ian barrel through their neighborhood just an hour south of Tampa. And the most I could do was text my family and see what was going on and even as the maximum of three minutes go by and my mom doesn't answer, the thoughts start rushing through your mind as to what's happening, what's going on, are they okay? Now Woodward along with other Quincy University faculty and students are stepping in to help with relief efforts by hosting a community-wide blood drive. Imagine if it was your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad living down there. Even though you don't know them, it's always necessary to look out for one another. Because it fits our mission and it fits our values and the world is bigger than just us and bigger than Quincy University and if we can give back and be servant leaders then we should. QU Dean of Students Christine Tracy says they've provided students with support like counseling to help them process all that happened and now wants to take it a step further. We've helped them within the university now we want to take it out and help their families and others impacted down in Florida. If lives are at stake and you're debating on whether to give or not, I mean, the answer is pretty clear right there that you should, you should give and you should take part and try and help in whatever way necessary. And most of the time with giving blood, it involves saving someone's life. Tracy says the blood drive will be here on campus this Thursday, October 13th. It'll run from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and it's open to the public. Live in Quincy, Charity Bell, WGEM News. All right, thank you, Charity. And Tracy says you don't have to live in Quincy to do this, but you do have to register through American Red Cross, selecting Quincy University and October 13th as the date you will donate. We will have those steps for you on WGEM.